All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, as we discussed with our previous guest, uh, Navy SEALs uh, in the news have been for quite some time on and off, but there's a big uh, situation going on right now where the person who uh, claims to have put three bullets in the head of Osama bin Laden has come forward. He's spoken to Fox News, and uh, the Pentagon uh, wants him uh, prosecuted for doing so. Joining us now is William Doyle, New York Times bestselling author, and he has a great book. Uh, and I, I, I would almost say, and the natural follow-up would be, nobody's going to want him penalized for writing this book, but he has a story to tell himself. The book is Navy Seals, Their Untold Story. There it is up on the screen for you. And uh, William, welcome. Well, thanks for having appreciate me. Appreciate your coming. Uh, great book, fascinating topic. And, uh, I, I, but, but talk about what you faced uh, in writing this book. Well, this is a book and a PBS special that will air on Veterans Day night, the same day the book comes out. Um, we, my partner, Dick Couch, who is a former SEAL, former CIA employee, uh, and possibly the most respected author on uh, issues of special operations in American history, we thought the SEALs deserved a full or complete history as much as can be told given the limits, the obvious limits of classification. Right. We went to the uh, Naval Special Warfare Command and said, "Will you look at? It? Will you check this before it's published? We don't want to reveal classified information. We th it sounded like a smart thing to do. Right. Uh, plus, we're required to do so, pretty much. Uh, and um, as civilians, not much less former uh, SEALs. I I have no military experience myself. I'm a nonfiction book writer. I wrote a book with a former SEAL in 2012. Uh, excuse me, uh, uh, last year." Uh, called American Gun by uh, Chris, Chris Kyle was yeah. my co-author yeah. yeah before he died so uh, I was fascinated by the community we wrote the book under the condition that this would be run by the Defense Department that's the only way we could get former special operators to talk to, to, to us talk, yeah. uh, because they're very very concerned quite rightly I mean you know when, when a former SEAL or a special operator does things without it being Clear. checked yeah people can get killed. That's the problem. And, and the, the SEALs who are angry, or the former SEALs who are angry at Mark Owen or this uh, O'Neill uh, man that I've talked to say it's because they read something in Owen's book that they think could help an enemy. Now, I, I didn't, but, right. they, but they can well, spot well, well, and, and, you know, one of the arguments, first of all, this gentleman now says he consulted with a lawyer, and the lawyer told him there was no problem, and, 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 and I don't know, you know, believe him or not believe him. But here's the thing. You know, Vice President Biden uh, mentioned which t t uh, SEAL team it was that, that got bin Laden. Um, you know, if you're going to do something like that, and then, of course, there was a horrific crash that took the lives of so many SEALs almost in the immediate aftermath uh, of uh, getting bin Laden, which a lot of people think and a lot of parents of those who died believe, um, you know, was related and it was a revenge attack because Biden opened his mouth and they, they had a target on their back. So what I'm saying is if Biden could, could make that kind of a gap or reveal that kind of information and to a lesser extent Obama, then, you know, what if a SEAL comes forward and says, I did it? I mean, yeah. Well, I, I don't know if Obama ever said the word SEAL. I know that Biden said SEAL yeah. and everybody yeah. then assumed it was yes. a special mission right. uh, <clears throat> unit. But um, it I'm not, I'm not going to say there isn't hypocrisy, there isn't terrible yeah, sloppiness yeah. over time on this issue. Uh, but, you know, when we went to the, the, the funny thing, the amazing thing to me as a civilian going to the Defense Department yeah. and saying, here, read, you know, read, my, read my book, clear it for publication. Yeah. First thing they did was they said, well, we, we sent it to the CIA. And I thought, well, wait a second, I didn't ask for it to be reviewed by the CIA. I didn't think there was a need to. Turns out they had the least to say about it. Um, the Defense Department was not concerned, Steve, about mistakes, tragedies, embarrassments. Just there was sort of a classified uh, okay. words yeah. and so forth. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so, so they didn't cut too much out of there? Nothing okay. of substance in the historical record. This is a book about their well, history. Well, that's what I wanted to bring up, because we only have a couple of minutes left. I don't want to give you a short trip, because it's a great book. And, and, and if you want to find out more about the SEALs, from the beginning to now. And I think it's fascinating to look at how the SEALs have changed over the many, many years. Yeah, the for, th for good and for not so good. Well, they had uh, the threats have changed. They've always been a very small, obviously very elite, very elite and incredibly well-trained force to do very narrow missions. First, it was beach demolition and beach surveying. O Omaha Beach, yeah. their ancestors yeah. were there. World War II. Uh, and they were basically created to provide a, a direct action force 
in a new unknown environment for uh, under the uh, the term of Kennedy. It actually started before that, and you know their missions are very very narrow: direct action, uh, personnel recovery, extremely high value targeting, as we saw with. Uh, bin Laden, Re uh, rescues from pirates and uh, 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 non-governmental organization workers. Yeah. But think of it, there's only there, there's not even 3,000 SEALs in the world today, maybe 10,000 of people that, have ever been SEALs. That's so fascinating, and, that and really they, is. They've had such an impact. And that's, uh, that, that's why the book is so great. Navy SEALs, their untold story, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, William Doyle is with us, he's the author. Uh, great book. Thank you very much for coming on. I appreciate it. Thanks, All sir. right, folks. So we are coming back, and we are going to speak to uh, John McLaughlin, renowned political strategist and pollster. Get his take on uh, where we are, politically speaking. Don't go away. <laughs>